Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got a train sitting in Abbeville. It's got a crew on it. And they're waiting on the train to come in from Greenwood. He had a clear signal southbound on north end of Abbeville. This is ES44A8. And he does have a crew up there. I'm waving at him, but I don't know if he sees me or not. Handbrakes aren't tied down. They look like another ES44A8. I don't know why we got a couple of cars in the parking lot here. I don't know what they're all about. Uh, manifest freight, y'all. Yeah, ES 44AH right there. Alright, when the train gets clear, gets closer, I'll take a picture of it. Alright, thank y'all. Alright, train that Greenwood's coming now, so I heard him blow the horn. That means it's about a mile away at the bottom of the hill. He's going to come up and take the main line, and he's going to pass this train sitting here. So he had a clear signal coming in. I filmed it earlier. Clear signal, 45 miles an hour, main line to main line. At North End of Abbeville. Uh, you might be able to see his headlight down there. He'll be coming over Highway 72 here in a little bit. Look like he got a ditch light out. Look like it might be a coal train, I'm not sure. Ditch lights are out. Thank you. Ditch lights are out at 107 CW 44AC. SCW is a cold train. We're going back to Atlanta and then they head on up to Pennsylvania with this one. But this crew gets off in Atlanta. Another crew gets taken up to Chattanooga and then I think it's landed over to the Pennsylvania Railroad. They take the whole train up to Pennsylvania, load it up, and then bring it back down and give it to CSX. They'll still use the CSX locomotive, at least from what I've seen. When it gets up to the, on the Norfolk Southern, it's going to be using the CSX for the motors on this train. We got DPU coming up.
Like cold wind coming off this train. All right, EOT is flashing and we got chemtrails in the sky. They're just starting to pull in from Georgia direction. I was going to walk down there and see if I get the switch lining up or whatever. I'm going to line the switch for the side and I don't know. Let me step over and maybe I can see. I can't tell. I guess it's lined up for the side. Yeah, he's already got lined up because we got clear, a medium clear on the side and over there. Let me scoop it in back. Red over green, medium clear. That's 35 miles an hour on the side. So he gets his whole train out on the main line and then he can do 45. All right, he's coming out with his big freight now. He's pulling a little bit. I think he honked at us to say hello. Or maybe he's gonna let me know he's creeping down and he thinks maybe I'm gonna walk out in the tracks or something. I don't think so. Got some horsepower sitting there. Like CSX grinders on there, fully loaded. Had some cement cars on there earlier, the two bay one. These are three bays. Now we got these things. I'm not sure what they carry. They're not flat carded or nothing. Double grinder, it looks like. Same cars. No black cars, but they're loaded. These are loaded cars. These are empty. These are box cars. A lot of them are. So far. Empty box cars. Empty grainer. Empty plastic. Maybe got a load on that tank car. Empty box cars. No DPU on this one.
Loaded ball saw on the bottom end. Blue EOT in this flashing. All right, coming down the side and going on the main line down there. Heading to Greenwood to go home. He gets off duty when he gets in Greenwood, 13 miles away. Abbeville used to be the crew change point, but when they got rid of the Abbeville Depot, they moved that. Well, they moved that buddy to Greenwood, then they got rid of the Abbeville Depot. So that's what happened there. Going downhill, y'all. Both signals red over red. North end of Abbeville, northbound signal. He's going downhill, and then go, he got to go down, up and down three hills, and then they'll be coming into Greenwood, y'all. All right, thank y'all. All right, bye-bye.